Not sure if many of you know, but we do have a virtual tier within the Design Coven virtual pro member tier, which includes three virtual meetings a month where we set intentions. We do group coaching. So bring all your questions. We answer those questions and you get to learn from other people going through the same struggles as you. We also do a business practice meeting. So we'll have somebody on to share a business practice that we can all benefit from. And then we also do a product training. So getting a sustainable, eco-friendly line to come on and share who they are so that we can be supported with other like-minded businesses. And if you're not quite ready for pro, you can always join our free community where you will connect with other like-minded holistic interior designers. You don't have to be an interior designer if you are kind of just dabbling or you're aspiring or you're looking into this field. We invite everybody from all journeys and we don't, again, have to be a designer. You don't have to have a degree. We're just a beautiful community of like-minded people looking to create healing spaces, not just for ourselves, but for our clients and future clients. Come join us at designcoven.com forward slash join. You're listening to the Holistic Interior Design Business Podcast. This is a podcast that guides you as a new or inspiring independent interior designer navigating your entrepreneurial path. Here with my over 20 years experience, I will share my holistic approach to design with intention and ancient practices, including feng shui, all incorporating mind, body, and spirit into my design projects. You will also learn from seasoned interior designers as they give strategies and insight of how they built their businesses and continue to work in the field. Together, we will discover supportive trade partners, new ideas, creatives, and inspiring artists from around the world. I am your host, Rachel Lorraine Crawford. Hello, hello. On today's episode, I am on solo, and I'm going to be sharing with you the one interior design service that you can offer as your first service for your new clients. I've been getting a lot of questions about services, how and what to to provide to their clients if they're just starting out. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. I am gonna go ahead and set our space by lighting our beautiful Mithras beeswax candle, as I always do. Love connecting with these candles and fire, of course. And then I'm pulling um, a tarot card today. So I'm going to pull from the Modern Witch Tarot deck, one of my favorite decks to work with. So let's see what we've got here. I'm going to pull the card right side up. They're just falling out all over the place. Okay, let's see what we've got. Card is... The seven of wands, which is about standing in our power, standing for what we believe in um, and sticking up for ourselves. So this is that beautiful empowerment card connecting with our solar plexus. This is the seven of wands, the seven of fire. Um, So we are going to stand our ground. Beautiful. And I am nourishing myself with some decaf coffee with a little bit of Fun Earth Co. Mushroom Mocha um, to get me in the space of concentration um, and mindfulness, of course, super important. Alrighty, so our first interior design service, what are we gonna offer? So this is something that you can offer to everybody. It's a virtual design consultation and you just need to have a few things. So you will need a computer of some sort, laptop works great. I like to book my meetings on Zoom and through the Calendly app. Um, which also accepts your payment. So you also will need to know how you want to accept payments and they can work with um, PayPal or Stride. So Calendly is a free app that will take your payment on PayPal or Stride and it collects payment when they book and it connects to your calendar so that they can book when you are available and you set your own hours, which is beautiful. So I suggest doing an hour um, consultation 
And then Calendly also connects to Zoom. So it will automatically create your Zoom link. So you're not having to create that Zoom link, email it out to your new client. It does all of that for you. It'll send email reminders, text reminders, and also thank yous at the end of your meeting, which is really, really helpful. So the one thing you're gonna wanna know or do um, in order to provide this service is you're gonna write out all the things that you are comfortable with providing your clients. So you're gonna write down all of your services. So that could be that you are comfortable with creating a color scheme, a paint consultation, referring them to different uh, winter treatment options, wallpaper selection, maybe you could do um, a space planning layout if they give you information beforehand. You can style, you can help consult them with styling bookcases or coffee tables, um, which pillows to pick for the sofa, bedding. You can help them select fabrics for reupholstery and also direction on what stores to shop from. So many people don't have the knowledge of all of the resources. So you can be their guide to share with them, okay, with this style that you're going for, this is going to be the store that you want to look for product. Um, so you can be that for them. And you can also select finishes, help them with cabinet color, flooring, you know, color, maybe they bring you different options so that you can help them select which direction to go in based on their concept. If you know about feng shui, you can offer feng shui advice and you can also do a space clearing, a virtual space clearing if you're trained in clearing space. So these are just some ideas. You might have even more options in, in the way of being able to offer services to these people. And what's really great is that you don't have to go anywhere to provide the service. Um, you have access to people on a global scale. So you don't have to feel confined into your place of living. I've got um, people that are in the design coven that are all, all different spaces. I've got one person in particular that's in Scotland and they feel like they're, you know, this holistic interior design space isn't quite um, in alignment with the people that they are around that are in their neighborhood. So now they can provide the service on a global scale to people that they feel more in alignment with, which is really, really cool. And then what you're also going to want to do on your Calendly to get some information is you're going to want to create a questionnaire so that you can get the information from your potential new client. So you're going to ask them for inspiration. Uh, maybe there's a place that they're inspired by a scene in a movie. Um, it could be a hotel. It could be a number of different things. You're going to want them to answer the question of what's the intention of the space. So you want to know what the room is being used for. You want to know who's using the room, what is going to stay in the room. So you're going to ask for existing pieces that are staying in the room so that you can keep that in mind when you're designing. And you're going to have them send photos of the room on a grand scale, kind of from afar, maybe at each of the angles. And then I always get a photo of each wall in that room so that you have a grand scheme or a scope of what's happening in that room. I also ask for photos of adjoining rooms or different areas of the home that they feel is in alignment with their style so that you have all of that information there set up for you. And then you get on your Zoom call. You have an hour for them to pick your brain, to ask questions. You know, I always encourage them to create a list so that they feel like they're getting the most out of your time. And, and that's it. That's your design service. So that's a beautiful way to just kind of get into this field. I would offer maybe three of these design services at a complimentary rate or at a discounted rate to people that you know that would value this. So family or close friends. And then you're going to let them know that be due to this rate, you're going to ask them, you know, for testimonials, you're going to get some feedback from them so that you can really hone in on this skill that you're developing. And then you're going to be able to use their testimonials if they've done anything in the home, check in with them, get photos from them. And then you can promote that on your website and any other places that you share your services. So again, it's a virtual interior design consultation on Zoom through the Calendly app, collecting payment on PayPal or Stride, and you're all set. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. Again, uh, this episode was inspired by the Design Coven, my membership for aspiring holistic interior designers. 
these are just questions that current members are asking and kind of struggling with as far as their services. So this is where I would start. Um, I always like to provide between one and three types of services. I'll go into the other two services that I recommend, but this is a great start to kind of get your toes wet, see how this feels, and let me know how it goes for you. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me at Instagram um, at Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, Lorraine, L-A-R-R-A-I-N-E. You can also find me at The Design Coven, and you can find that link at bewitchingthehome.com. And we would love to have you. You don't have to have any experience, just interest in this beautiful field of holistic interior design. You've been listening to the Holistic Interior Design Business Podcast. If it's one that you have been enjoying, please share with anyone else that you think can benefit from this knowledge and leave us a five-star review that helps us get seen and found by other new and aspiring interior designers. And if you're looking for mentorship, I invite you to join our club here at the Design Coven. It's a bridge between school and real life interior design. We get in much deeper there. We have virtual and in-person events. So everyone is welcome. You don't need to have a design degree to be part of it. Just an interest in holistic interior design. I also want to thank our editor, Marcy Ferry. And lastly, Kinseth Thibodeau, who is our music composer. Until next time, be well, and we will see each other soon.